In Paris, France, if you should stray down by the Place du Marché, you'll meet two friends that... Mystery of the Missing Tomatoes. Tales. Hello, bonjour. My family's going to spend the day in the country at my grandmother Granny Matilde's house. My best friend Lisa's coming with us too. It's going to be great. We'll play in the sun and have lots of fun. Ugh. Mama, tell them. Why don't you two quiet down for a little while, okay? At last. <laughs> We're on our way to Granny Matilde's. Oh. <laughs> You're here. Welcome, everyone. Bonjour. Bonjour, Caspar. Mm. Oh, and bonjour, Lisa. Hello, Granny Matilde. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, look. It's my old detective kit. I haven't seen this since I was a boy. Oh. Yes, I found it cleaning out the attic and thought you might like to see it. Oh, you loved it so much and carried it with you everywhere. Well, you never know when a mystery is going to come your way. I thought Gaspar and Lisa might enjoy playing with it. Ooh, look, it's got a magnifying glass and binoculars. I remember when I solved the mystery of the buried treasure with this. Buried treasure? Really? Yep. I found a coin buried down the back of the sofa. <laughs> I want to solve a mystery, too. Like the mystery of, how did your nose get so big? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Actually, maybe you two can help me solve another mystery. It's in my garden. Come with me. Ooh. Something or someone has been getting at my prized tomatoes. I wanted to enter these tomatoes in the Harvest Festival this year. I'm sure they'd win first prize. Ooh. But if this keeps up... Hmm. Someone's taken a tomato. And somebody's been eating this one. But I don't know who. A mystery. Do you think you could find out who's doing this and stop them from doing it again? My tomatoes need protection. Huh. Yes, we can do that. Detectives Gaspar and Lisa are on the case. I knew I could count on both of you. I'll leave you to it then. I know how we can find out who it is. How? We'll hide and watch very closely. With these. Sooner or later, whoever's eating the tomatoes will come back. Then we'll catch them at it. Let's hide. Over there. I wonder who the mystery tomato eater is. Hmm, maybe it's a bird. It would have to be really, really big to be strong enough to carry the tomatoes. My tummy. All this detective work is making me hungry. <laughs> <gasps> Guess why there's something there. It's a rabbit. So he is the one who's been at the tomatoes. <gasps> Mystery solved. Good work, Detective Lisa. You too, Detective Gaspar. He's so cute. Look, he's trying to take another tomato. We've got to stop him. Shoo, Rabbit, shoo! Come on! Ooh! He's gone! We stopped him from eating the tomatoes! Yeah! We did we it! Did we did it! it. <gasps> Aw, oh. we didn't do it. Hey, rabbits like apples, don't they? If I put this over there, he'll want to eat it. And he'll forget all about the tomatoes. Great idea. He sees it. He's sniffing it. He's... Oh, 
he's going back to the tomatoes. Oh. Now what? We promised Granny Matilda that we'd protect her tomatoes. But the rabbit just keeps eating them. It's all right, Gaspar. We just have to think. Hmm. The rabbit can't eat the tomatoes if he can't get to them. So, we need something to keep the rabbit away. That's it. You're a genius, Gaspar. I am? Thanks. Come on. Hmm. It's like a little tomato plant house. The rabbit will never get in there. Here he comes. He's giving up. It worked. Let's go and tell Granny Matilde. She'll be so happy. <gasps> oh, no. He's going under the box. Get away, shoot! <sighs> <laughs> Gaspar, you're squashing me. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rabbit's gone. Woohoo! Whoa, we, we did, did it. it! We saved Granny Matilda. <gasps> Tomatoes. Oh! The tomatoes are all squashed. Now Granny Matilde can't enter them in the Harvest Festival. Maybe they have a prize for the most squashed tomatoes. Hmm. She's not going to like this at all. Don't worry, Gaspar. We'll fix it. How? How can we fix a plant? How about a song to make you feel better? And to make the tomatoes feel better, too. Oh, Gaspar and tomatoes. Please feel better, because Gaspar and tomatoes should be happy together. <laughs> feel better now? <laughs> I do, but I don't think it helped the tomatoes. Luckily, I have a great idea. All we need is a little tape. Tape? Leave that to me. It looks almost as good as new, doesn't it? How are my two <gasps> detectives doing? Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, fine. We found out who was eating the tomatoes. You did? Well done. Mm-hmm, it was a rabbit. And, um, yeah, but everything's fine. Everything's completely... <sighs> We fell on the tomatoes and squashed them when we were chasing the rabbit away. We did our best to fix it with some tape. But it didn't turn out very well. We're sorry, Granny Matilde. <gasps> oh, dear. <laughs> Aren't you mad? How could I be mad when I know how hard you've worked to protect my tomatoes? Thank you. Phew. Hmm. I'm sure I can use these squash tomatoes for something. We just have to find a way to protect them from now on. I don't know. That rabbit is really clever. <gasps> Look! There he is again! Go away, rabbit! Shoo! <laughs> Looks like you scared him off. Hmm, scared him off. You just gave me another great idea. There. There you go. That's good. See? Scarecrows. This is a great idea. These will scare the rabbit away when you're not here. Look, he's back. Let's hide and see if the scarecrows work. <laughs> we did it! Thanks for helping. That's what Scarecrow best friends do. Help each other. You can't enter those tomatoes in the Harvest Festival, Granny Matilde. 
They're all squashed. What will you do with them? It's a mystery. And you'll have to wait until dinner time to solve it. Hmm? Mmm. Mmm. It smells good. But what is it? Ratatouille with squashed tomatoes. Another mystery solved. Oh, <laughs> that looks delicious. Mm, there yum, you go. Yum, yum. Gaspar and Ice Puppy. My best friend Lisa says I love dogs. You do. All dogs. Like our teacher's dog, Jean-Claude. Bonjour. And I love those dogs. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I wish I had a dog of my own. Please. We're sorry, honey, but puppies are a lot of work. But I would walk it every day and feed it. It could sleep on my bed. Maybe one day when you're a bit older, but not yet. Uh... <sighs> I knew they'd say no. They don't think I'm old enough to look after a dog. Maybe you could show them that you are. How do I do that? Luckily, I have a great idea. So when you see how good I am at looking after this puppy, you'll know that I could look after a real puppy. It's a great idea, isn't it? A toy puppy is not the same as a real one. I'm not talking to you, Charles. I'm talking to Mama. Please, Mama. I'm sorry, Gaspar. But Charles is right. But, Mama, I'll walk it, and I'll wash it, and I'll... Oop! <gasps> uh. Well, I'm convinced. Uh. Hello? Anybody home? Bonjour, Papa. Hello, bonjour. Guess what? The Renards from upstairs are going away for the weekend. But they had one little problem. They needed someone to look after their puppy. <gasps> a puppy! And I thought maybe Gaspar could try dog sitting, and we can see if he's ready for a puppy of his own. I'm ready! I'm ready! This one doesn't have batteries, Gaspar. What's his name? Maurice. Maurice. I like that. I like him. Come here. Come on. You're so lucky, Gaspar. Remember, Gaspar, puppies are a lot of work. You have to feed him, walk him, train him, and watch him all weekend so he doesn't get into any mischief. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll look after you, Maurice. <laughs> and I'll help. Good boy. Good boy. There. That's for Maurice to sleep on. And this paper is in case he has to go to the bathroom in the night. You have to train him to use it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Good night, Gaspar. Good night, Maurice. Sleep well. We will, Papa. Won't we, boy? <laughs> ah. supposed to chew books? It's time to go to sleep. <sighs> Good night. <sighs> Shh. Oh.
You look terrible. Maurice kept me awake all night. <sighs> I'm so tired. Look out! Don't step there. Ugh. Maurice, what did you do? <laughs> you had an accident. You're supposed to go to the bathroom on the paper and sleep on the floor, not the other way around. It's a good thing you're so cute. <sighs> I suppose we'd better clean that up. What do you mean, we? You said you wanted to help. Not with that. I want to help walk him. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <sighs> Fine. Papa! Maurice! Slow down! Can I walk him now? Not yet. <laughs> this is fun. Maurice, stop! Heel! Whoa! I'm okay. Your turn. Thanks. Ah! I'm really tired. Isn't it time to feed Maurice and give him some water? Yes. How is he doing? It's more work than he thought, but he's trying. Here you go, boy. Oh. Maurice. Ugh. Papa? Ah! Ah. Here. Here, boy. Huh? Oh. Maurice, you know you're not allowed to sleep in here. <sighs> ah. Oh, no. Not again. You're supposed to go to the bathroom on the paper, Maurice. Like I told you. <sighs> oh. Gaspar, you're supposed to... Keep an eye on him. I know. Bonjour, come in. See if you can wake him up. The doorbell didn't. Gaspar. 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 Hmm? Huh? Oh, I'm just so tired. <gasps> Maurice! I'm supposed to be keeping an eye on him. Mama and Papa were right. I'm not ready to look after a dog. <sighs> I think you're doing really well. I'll help you clean up the mess. Come on. Puppies are messy, but puppies are fun. Gaspar wants a puppy, but maybe not this one. Ta-dum, ta-dum, ta-dum. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. That's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not mad. In fact, I'm a bit sad that Monsieur Renard is picking you up tomorrow. Gaspar, time to get up. <gasps> Gaspar, look! <gasps> Maurice! You went to the bathroom on the paper! You did it, Gaspar! You trained him! Yes! Try him! Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Thank you, Gaspar. Maurice looks very happy. You did a fantastic job. Thank you.
Thank you, Miss Yorena. My best friend Lisa helped me. That's what best friends do, help take care of each other's puppies. Bye, Maurice. I'll miss you. Au revoir. Au revoir, Maurice. <laughs> Monsieur Reynard was right, Gaspar. You did do a fantastic job. Mm-hmm. We think you're ready for a dog of your own. <gasps> uh... Thanks, Papa, Mama. But I think I'll stick with this one for now. Really? Having a real puppy is a lot of work. And Lisa. Hello, bonjour. Telling stories, making plans, and pretty soon <laughs> you understand they're best of friends. The big bicycle race. friend Lisa and I are cheering for my papa. He's practicing for the Paris bicycle race. I think you're getting faster, <sighs> papa. I hope so. The big race is this weekend. This race is really special because papa's going to race bicycle riders from all over Paris. Look! Wow! They start here under this banner. Then they race all around the city, and then they come back here again to finish. But how does everyone know which way to go? The green arrows. They point the way the racers need to go. See? The cyclists are supposed to go up? No, silly. This arrow tells them to go straight ahead. And that one tells them to turn that way. Very good, Gaspar. I think you know as much about this race as I do. That's because someday I'm going to ride in the Paris bicycle race, too. And I'll cheer for you. Go, Gaspar! Go, Gaspar! Gaspar is going to come first. Go, Gaspar! <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice racing our bikes right now. But, Gaspar, can't we just do something else instead? Oh. And it's Gaspar moving up to the front. He picks up speed and he wins the Paris bicycle race. The crowds are going wild. Woo! Woohoo! Woohoo! Gaspar, we've been riding around this part of the park for ages. Can't we do something else? All right, let's ride around that part of the park. But I'm tired of bicycles. I'm not. I'm going to look at all those arrows again. But when can we do what I want to do? Can't we do something else? Like make puppets? No. Play hopscotch? No, thanks. Practice judo? Mm, no. Ugh. Huh. I never want to ride a bike again. But I thought you liked riding bikes. I do, but not all the time. We rode bikes all day yesterday because you wanted to. Now I want to do something else. I still really want to ride bikes. But today we can do what you want to do instead. You promise? I promise, promise. That's what best friends do. Take turns doing what the other one wants. Thank you. But will you still watch the race with me tomorrow and cheer for Papa? Um... We can wear bike outfits, like real racers. And we can decorate them. I can use my pen set. That sounds much better than riding bikes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <sighs> it's race day! Yeah! Ta-da! Lisa! Bonjour! Bonjour! 
to our gas bar? Hmm. Oh, look at the two of you. <laughs> Good luck in the race today, Papa. We'll all be cheering for you. Thank you, Gaspar. Now, uh, I better get going. Go, Papa! Good luck! Good luck, Good luck Papa! See you in Have the race! Have a great race! Thanks! Bye! See you at the finish! Come on! I found the perfect place to watch the race! Hurry! <laughs> This is your perfect place? It was, before everyone else found it. Mama, can Lisa and I look for a better place to see Papa? All right, but stay where I can see you. We will. Hmm. If we just uh, jump, we can see uh, half the race. Mm -mm. Let's keep looking. The Paris Bicycle Race is about to start. Get those cameras ready. Come on, we've got to find somewhere. Gaspar, look. Let's just stand under this arrow. It shows the cyclists where to go. They have to come this way. But I want to see Papa start the race. Let's go. We don't <coughs> have time. The race is starting. That's why <coughs> we have to hurry. And they're off. All right, racers, follow those arrows. <coughs> Whoa. going the wrong way. And it's all our fault. Uh-oh! Catastrophe! We've got to get Papa and the other racers going the right way. But how can we catch up with them? Hmm... <gasps> I can ride after them. Mr. Habib, can I borrow one of your bicycles to catch up to the racers? We have to tell them they're going the wrong way. Hmm, this sounds like an emergency, but I'm sorry, Gaspar. I only have adult bikes left. Except for that one. Oh, I can't ride that by myself. But we can ride it together. Come on. I thought you never wanted to ride bikes again. Best friends take turns doing what the other one wants, remember? Anyway, this is really important. <sighs> right. I know a shortcut. Come on. I'll come with you. I've always wanted to ride in a bicycle race. Gaspar, Lisa, where are you going? We're, We're going, going to save the race. race. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on them. Did they say save the race? They're certainly fast. <laughs> hey! Hey! Over here! Back this way! Didn't they hear us? Um, they're looking for green arrows to follow, but we don't have any. Yes, we do. On our backs. See? Yes! And they look just like the arrows that tell them to go straight ahead. So, if we ride in front of everyone, They'll have to follow us. Come on, Miss Yahabib. We have to get in front of the racers. There they are. They've all stopped racing. At last. Gaspar, Lisa, Monsieur Habib, what are you all doing here? We had to catch up to tell you. You were going the wrong way. Oh, I thought something was wrong. We've been riding in circles. We can't find any arrows to show us where to go. You followed an arrow that was pointing the wrong way. But now you can follow our arrows. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll make sure everyone knows. Come on, everyone! Follow the arrows on Gaspar and Lisa's backs. Follow the arrows! 
Follow Gaspar and Come Lisa. On. Follow us. Good it's luck, children. Ahead. Just follow Come the on. arrows. Yeah, it's That's straight ahead. It. Gaspar, it's working. All the racers are following us. And that means I'm first place in the Paris bicycle race. I told you you would be. Remember? Gaspar is the fastest cyclist in the world, and he'll come first! <laughs> Thanks to you. I never could have finished the race without your arrows telling me where to go. Yes! Triumph! <laughs> and I never could have shown you if Lisa hadn't helped. That's what best friends do. Only, now can we do something besides ride this bike? Anything you want. But I think we'll have to ride it back first. <laughs> <laughs> Our school concert. Oh, bonjour. Hello. Our teacher, Mademoiselle Ballady, says she has a surprise for us. I love surprises, and so does my best friend Gaspar. I hope it's something really, really fun, like an extra long recess, or racing go-karts in the hall, or spaghetti for lunch. The surprise is, we are going to put on a special concert for our friends and family. Oh, wow. that's so cool. cool. I've brought in some instruments for you to choose from. <gasps> wow. Instruments? That's better than spaghetti. Now, when I call your name, you can come up and choose the instrument you'd like to play. <gasps> the cymbals! Look how shiny they are! I have to play the cymbals, Gaspar. Erica, why don't you come up and choose first? Yes, me first. Not the cymbals. Please don't choose the cymbals. I'll take the triangle. Phew! Sophie, you're next. Gaspar, it's your turn to pick an instrument. Yes! Don't pick the cymbals. Please don't pick the cymbals. I choose the cymbals. Oh. Gaspar, why did you pick the cymbals? You know I wanted them. Yep, and I got them for you. For me? That's what best friends do. Make sure they get the instruments they want. Thanks, Gaspar. Okay, Lisa, it's your turn. Now I'll choose an instrument for you. Uh... This. Uh, uh, here. The big drum. That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know? Because you're my best friend, silly. And I know what you like. All right, everyone. Now that we have our instruments, it's time to rehearse our favorite song. Yay! Yay! Not yet, Lisa. <laughs> I'll count to four. Then, Gaspar, you start with two booms from the bass drum, then a crash from your cymbals, Lisa. We start it. I know. Then, Bastian comes in with a melody. Yes. And everyone else, Come in when I point to you. Remember, stay on the beat. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yay! We were great! 
Weren't we? Have you ever heard anything so loud? Yes, it was very loud, Gaspar. And I think with a little practice, it will sound much better. Now I want you to take your instruments home tonight and practice, practice, practice. And please, take care of your instruments. Don't let anything happen to them. for the concert. Yes, I heard. That's your mama, Gaspar. You'd better get going. Bonjour. <sighs> Bye, Lisa. See you tomorrow. Whew. This drum's getting heavy now. <sighs> Gaspar, why don't you leave your drum here? Then tomorrow I'll take you and Lisa to school with your instruments. Well, all right. <sighs> oh. No, Leela. You can't touch the instruments. <laughs> no, Leela. This isn't a toy. Huh. Make sure nothing happens to our instruments. All right, Gaspar. See you tomorrow. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Come on, Leela. It's time for your nap. Now, where can I put these so they'll be safe? Um, I know. I'll put them in one of these boxes. Ugh. Hmm, full of clothes. Ugh. Ugh. Empty. Good. Phew! There. Safe and sound. Why, hello, madame. Good morning. I'm here to pick up some boxes of clothes you wanted to donate. Here, they're right over here. I hope another family can use some of those things. Every little bit helps. Thank you. Oh, good morning, Gaspar. It's not just a good morning. It's a great morning. Today's the school concert. And we can't wait to hear it. Gaspar! I came early so we could practice. I can't wait to bang my drum. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's get our instruments. Where did you put them? In an empty box in the hall. Mama, where are the boxes that were here? The man from the thrift store just came and picked them up. Picked them up? But our instruments were in there. I put them in one of the boxes last night, so Leela wouldn't get to them. Our instruments are gone? Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Catastrophe! Maybe we can still catch up with him. Come on! Come on, Gaspar! Let's get you two to school. You go ahead. I'll see if I can find that van and get the instruments back. Hurry, Papa. The concert starts soon. I'll do my best. Au revoir. He's out right now and looking, so I hope he finds the truck or the children won't have any instruments. No instruments? Well, not right now, but they should be here any second. Any second. Oh, dear. Well, I'm afraid we can't delay any longer, so... Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to our first musical concert. Our students have been busy practicing, and they're all very excited to play for you. 
Oh. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Gaspar and Lisa. We don't have any more instruments. How are you going to play in the concert? Well, um, uh, wait. Don't worry, Mademoiselle Balady. Luckily, I have a great idea. You do? Here. Okay. Now what? Hit it. Like a drum. It sounds just like my drum. But what about your cymbals? Um... Ah! <laughs> Ta-da! See? Lisa, I think you're the smartest person I know. Really? Why, thank you, Gaspar. We're ready, Mademoiselle Balady. We can start now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gaspar, I've got your instruments. <laughs> Am I too late? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Papa. Sometimes all you need to make music is a good idea and a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> What do you call a day that's better than awesome? If you're Henry Huggle Monster, you call it... Roarsome! 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 Every day is Roarsome with Henry Huggle Monster. Every day at 5, 4 Central on Disney Junior. Roarsome! Lisa, she gets a big idea And they race off through triumph And catch a stroke On one adventure after another Cause they're friends who can count on each other Our big baking disaster Welcome to the Place de Marche Baking Festival Oh, hello! Bonjour! Do you smell that? I love the smell of freshly baked Anything. And so does my best friend, Lisa. Mmm, croissants. See? Gaspar. Gaspar, your papa and I are taking Charles to his chess exhibition. And we better get going or we'll be late. I think we may be late anyway. It's going to be tricky getting through the crowd at the festival. Oh, that must be your Granny Mathilde. She is going to look after you while we're gone. Hmm. I wish we could go to the baking festival. Croissants, macaroons, cherry tarts. Mmm, it does smell delicious. Granny Mathilde! Bonjour, Gaspar. Bonjour, Lisa. I have an idea. Why don't we do some baking ourselves? Really? What should we make? Let's see. How about croissant, anyone? Yeah! Can we eat them, too? Of course. We're off now. Have fun, you three. And save some croissants for us. Bye. Au revoir. I know all about baking. What do you want me to do first? Before we do anything, we have to wash our hands. <laughs> now, to be real bakers, you must wear proper baker's hats. Always this silly? Always. <laughs> That's better. Thanks. Next, we make the dough, which means we'll need milk and butter and flour Ooh. and yeast. I'll 
get the flour. And I'll get the yeast. Uh, what's yeast? Yeast is what makes the dough rise. You see how flat this cracker is? Yes. That's because it was made without yeast. But look at this fluffy croissant. That's what happens when we add yeast. Oh, I see. Me too. Without yeast, we'd have flat croissants. Exactly. <laughs> um... Hmm. Uh, here's the flour. Did you find the yeast, Gaspar? Um, what does yeast look like? Yeast is a powder. It comes in little square packets. Uh, like this? That's it. You found it. All of our ingredients are ready. Time to get going. Now we stir it all together. Give it a stir. I'm stirring with my best friend, Gaspar. I'm stirring and it's fun. Making dough is fun with Gaspar. And Granny Ma, too. <laughs> That's a silly song, Lisa. Why, thank you, Gaspar. Okay, you two. I think that's enough stirring. Now, it's time to add the yeast so the dough will rise and get nice and fluffy. Oh, the telephone. Hmm. There. What are you doing, Gaspar? I'm adding a little yeast to the dough. You should wait until Granny Mattel gets back. I'm just going to stir in one little packet. Now, where did I put my spoon? Hmm. These are so small. Maybe one packet isn't enough. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> huh. I can't see the dough rising. Can you? Hmm. Nope. Oops. Maybe one more. Hmm. Maybe we should add some more yeast. More? Really? If you think so. Hmm. Still nothing. Maybe just one more packet. Okay, but that's it. Uh, oh, we used all the yeast. Lisa, look! It's rising. Granny Matilda's gonna be so happy. Uh, the dough's rising pretty fast, isn't it? Too fast. We have to stop it. Quick, Gaspar, the baking trays. We should have waited for Granny Matilde. Uh, don't blame me. I was only trying to help. Anyway, I only put in a few packets. It's not my fault either. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Catastrophe! I think it stopped. Hmm? That's a lot of dough. I'm sorry I got mad and blamed you, Gaspar. It was my fault, too. I added more yeast to the dough when you were under the table. Really? That's a lot of yeast. Well, it's okay. And thanks for not being mad anymore. That's what best friends do. Make up after they get mad. But what should we do now? We could make a big, giant croissant. That's a great idea. But I think we'd also need a big, giant oven. You're right. It wouldn't fit. Luckily, I have a great idea. We can make lots and lots of normal-sized croissants. And then we can eat them. <laughs> yes, Gaspar. Then we can eat them. Rolling the dough, we're rolling the dough. Gaspar and me, we're rolling the dough to make croissants. Lisa, the best 
bakers in the whole world. Oh, my. Where oh. did all these come from? It was all my fault, Granny Matilde. I put in too much yeast. And the dough got really big. And I put in more too much. And it got even bigger. So it's my fault, too. And we didn't think one big croissant would fit in the oven. So we made lots of normal-sized croissants. And that's where they all came from. We're both really sorry, Granny Matilde. Oh! Ah. Oh, we forgot to clean those up, too. Please don't be mad, Granny Matilde. We were only trying to help. It's lovely that you wanted to help. But you really should have waited for me. And what are we going to do with all of these croissants? There's enough to feed all of Paris. <gasps> I have a great idea. We can feed all of Paris. We can take the croissants down to the baking festival. That is a great idea. Thank you. I don't see why not, as long as they taste good enough. But first, we have to bake them. And while that's happening, you two can clean up this mess. Come on, Lisa. We'll do it together. We're cleaning up the kitchen, Gaspar and me. We're making it real shiny while Granny Matilde bakes the croissants. And then we'll eat them. <laughs> Right? Who wants to go first? I do! I do! I do! I do. I do. How about I count to three and you both have a taste? Mm. Ready? One, two, three. Mmm! Delicious! Now for the real test. Mmm? Hmm. Not bad. Quite in fact. Phew. I think that you two just made the best croissant I've ever tasted. Yes! Try them! <laughs> All right, my little bakers. Let's take your croissant to the festival so everyone can enjoy them. <sighs> we can't forget about Mama and Papa. And this one's for Charles. One more for me and my best friend, Lisa. Cause we might be hungry when we get back. Come on, Gaspar. <laughs> croissants, get your fresh croissants here. Gaspar and Lisa. Monster Hunters. Please hurry up. Coming, Mama. The world's greatest explorers are on their way. Climbing the highest mountain in the world. Oh, hello. Bonjour. My best friend Lisa came home with me after school today. We're having an adventure. Come on, almost there. Oh, look out. Children! Sorry, Monsieur Hougé. Sorry. We're climbing up this huge mountain to get home. You mean the stairs? Yes. Where are you going, Monsieur Hougé? I have to get milk for brulee. That little cat goes through a carton of kitten milk a day. Whoa! Is that a lot? Yes, Gaspar. Quite a lot. Well, goodbye, children. And don't fall off the uh, mountain. <laughs> we won't. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Almost there. Made it. Hooray for, for the, the great, great explorers. Here you are. Your papa just called from the station. I have to go and pick him up. Can Lisa still stay? Of course. Charles is here to keep an eye on you. And I left milk and sandwiches if you're hungry. Mwah. Be good. Yes, Mama. Au revoir. Bye, Gaspar's Mama. <laughs> Oof. 
What do you want to do first? We could draw pictures. I want to have another adventure. What kind of adventure? Something huge and exciting and adventurous. <gasps> what was that? It came from the kitchen. Look! How did this happen? What have you done? Why did you knock over the milk? But it wasn't us. Really? So, I suppose there's some mysterious monster loose in the house. Yes! It made a noise just after it knocked over our milk. Ugh. <sighs> You're hearing things. Just clean it up. And don't come bothering me. I'm listening to music. Hmm. Do you really think it could be a monster? Hmm. Some kind of weird animal, maybe. Like a bear, only with horns and wings. <laughs> Whatever it is, it likes milk. It must have knocked the cups over trying to get some. <gasps> the monster! It's back! And it's in Mama and Papa's room. Come on! Uh, but what if it's not a friendly monster? What if it has big scary eyes and sharp teeth? Even worse, what if it's a chicken? <laughs> I can't stand chickens. I don't think it's a chicken, Gaspar. But I'll go in first, just to make sure. Thanks, Lisa. But we should go in together. That's what best friends do. Stick together. Right. Together, we're the best monster hunters ever. Hmm. But if we're going to be monster hunters, we need monster hunting stuff. Come on. Flashlight, magnifying glass, whistle. I found these in your cupboard. What's the feather for? For tickling the monster, of course. After we catch it with this, it'll be great. The best adventure ever. All right then, monster hunters, ready to hunt. Yay! Look, the monster knocked the lamp over. That must have been the noise we heard. But there's no sign of him now. He must have escaped. He could be anywhere. Wait a minute. Look at that yarn. The monster knocked the bag over, then rolled the yarn over here around the chair and all the way over to the closet. And the closet door is open. So that must mean... <gasps> the, the monster's in the closet. closet. <laughs> We did it! We trapped the monster! Hooray! But now what do we do? It can't stay in there forever. Uh, if we can make it come out somehow, you can trap it in your net. And then we'll tickle it and make it go away. Great idea! But how do we get it to come out? We could ask, politely. <clears throat> monster, come out of the closet. You forgot to say please. Please. It didn't work. Well, if the monster won't come out, we'll have to go in and get it. You go first. Really? It's not that I'm scared exactly. <laughs> ah! Well, I'm scared a little. And it's okay to tell me if you're scared too, Gaspar. That's what best friends do. Tell each other when they're scared. Really? Well, I am a little scared then. Don't worry, Gaspar. There's no need to be afraid of a monster. <laughs> I knew you'd sing. You think singing helps everything. Well, it does. With the two of us together, we can be twice as brave. Lisa and Gaspar, the famous monster hunters on our big adventure. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It did help. On the count of three, we'll open the door, go in, and get him together. Ready? Uh-huh. Ready. One, two, three. Open! Hello? Hello? Monster? Huh? huh?
Come on. What's going on in here? Huh? What have you done to Mama and Papa's bedroom? The monster got us. At least, we thought it did. Gaspar, Charles, where are you? I'm in here, Mama. Wait till they see this. Oh? <gasps> oh, no! What happened? Gaspar and Lisa came in here to play and made a huge mess. But we weren't playing, Mama. We were trying to catch the monster in your closet. Yes, the monster. Children, there's no such thing as a monster in the... That's it. That's the noise we heard. The monster. Uh, but what on earth could it be? Achoo! Oh, that's odd. I never sneeze like this unless there's something around I'm allergic to. Achoo! That's it. That's what? We know what the monster is. Something that likes milk and likes to play with yarn. It makes Papa sneeze. Something like... Brulee! But how did Monsieur Houget's cat get in our... <gasps> closet? <laughs> she must have sneaked out of Miss Yahoo's and followed us in when we came home. And now, she's too afraid to come out. I know how we can get her out. Kitten milk. She loves it. Brule. Here, Brule. We've got something for you. Come on. That's it. We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> we caught Brulee the monster. Yes! Triumph! One of our best adventures ever. But now you better take Brulee back down to Monsieur Huget. He must be worried about her. Then you can come back and help us clean up this room. Yes, Mama. Mm-hmm. Come on, Brulee. And maybe next time, you can have an adventure that doesn't make me... <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> Monsieur Huget, we found... Brule! Ah, I've been looking everywhere for her. She followed us upstairs when we weren't looking. You naughty cat. Thank you, children. Sometimes she can be very hard to find. Well, we are the best monster hunters in all of Paris. Hmm, but I'm still glad she wasn't a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> with me after school today. We're going to play in my room. Whoa, Lisa, look what your papa did to your sister's room. Papa, you tore all the pretty paper off the walls. I'm putting up Victoria's new wallpaper, but I had to take off all the old wallpaper first. Can we help? Sorry, Gaspar, but I don't really think this is a job you can help with. You have to be very careful. You have to spread the glue just right. Then you have to make sure the paper is straight. And then squeeze all the bubbles out. We could do that. Huh? <laughs> hmm, it's harder than it looks. Did you get my new wallpaper? This is gonna look so great. Thank you, Papa. If you really want to be useful, um, maybe you can help Victoria put her things in your room. No thanks, I'll do it. My room? 
Why is she putting her things in my room? Victoria can't sleep in here until Papa finishes putting up the new wallpaper. And that won't be until tomorrow, I'm afraid. Victoria's gonna sleep in my room, but... Please don't make a fuss, Lisa. It's only for one night. Um... <sighs> It'll be okay. Come on, I'll help you pick up your books. <laughs> Victoria, you can't sleep there. That's my bed. Sorry, can't hear you. <sighs> Maybe it won't be too bad. Anyway, it's only for one night. with the window open. I like it closed. It's my room and I want it open. Well, I'm the oldest and I say it's closed. Papa! Lisa, come and sleep in our room. Me? But why should I have to... It's only for one night. Hmm. <sighs> Sweetie, but Leela's such a light sleeper. You really need to go back to your own room. Mama. But it isn't my room anymore. Victoria's taken it over. Please, Lisa. It's only for one night. <sighs> was angry. Leela kept crying. And then Victoria was in my bed. I'm so tired. That sounds awful. I know I don't like it when Charles comes into my room. And imagine how you'd feel if he slept in your bed. I'm imagining it. And I don't like it. But look on the bright side. It was only for one night. You're right. Papa will finish wallpapering today. And tonight, I'll have my room back all to myself. <gasps> but why are you still here? My room isn't finished yet. Papa says it'll take one more day. Oh, it will never be finished. I'm sorry, Lisa. Papa had to do something important for work today. But this is important. I want my room back. What if you stay on one side of your room and Victoria stays on the other? I'm sure you two can find a way to get along. After all, it's only one more night. She'll probably say that tomorrow too. And the day after, and the day after. Victoria's going to be in my room forever. Hmm, maybe not. Mm. We could finish the wallpapering ourselves. I'm not sure. Papa said you have to be very careful. He's the one who showed us how to do it. You spread the glue, make sure the paper's straight, and then something about bubbles. Right. Well, I suppose Papa wouldn't have shown us how to do it if he didn't want us to. We'd be helping him. And I'll get my room back.
put here. Da da da. supposed to take bubbles out or put bubbles in? Gaspar, you use too much glue. I had to. Your jaggedy ends wouldn't stick down. Well, if you tore the paper right, the edges wouldn't be jaggedy. I'm only trying to help. This was your idea anyway. No, it wasn't. It was yours. If you hadn't spilled the glue... Well, if you hadn't hogged all the paper... Here, you can have all the paper you want. We've run out of paper! Uh-oh! Catastrophe! What are we going to do? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. How? I'm not sure. But, but it will be. Gaspar, I'm sorry I shouted at you. Even if it was all your idea. You're right, it was my idea, and not a very good one. Luckily, this time, I have a great idea. There's bound to be something in my bag that can help us. Really? Um, flashlight, masking tape, a cookie. Oh, so that's where it went. Ah, here we go, crayons. We can make our own wallpaper. Thank you, Gaspar. This was a great idea. <laughs> Coloring our own wallpaper, which is always more fun when you're doing it with your best friend. <laughs> Gaspar, I'm very disappointed in you. I told you this wasn't a job you could help with. Now I'll have to get more wallpaper, and it'll take another day. I'm sorry, Papa. I only wanted to get my room back. And I only wanted to help her. And you did say you'd finish it today, Papa. Well, yes, I did. And I'm sorry I didn't. But that doesn't forgive the mess you've made. I'll help clean up, Papa. Me too. You don't have to, Gaspar. That's what best friends do. Help each other clean up. Good job. Yes! Triumph! But Victoria still has to stay in my room tonight. I've got something else in my bag that can help. Good night, Victoria. Good night, Lisa. <sighs> now we each have our own space, thanks to Gaspar and his roll of masking tape. Victoria, since it's on your side of the room, would you please open the window? Go to sleep. <laughs> yes, and Lisa. The best of friends, the best of friends for life. Gaspar's garden for Mama. Hello, bonjour. My best friend Gaspar has been in the country visiting his grandmother, Granny Matilde. And now he's home! Lisa! Gaspar! Mm. Bonjour! Bonjour! Hello! How was the country? Oh, it was wonderful! Look what we brought back! Fresh from Granny Matilde's garden! Oh! I brought you something, too! You're going to love it! Um, um, here! I know. Thanks, Gaspar. I, uh, 
Love it. Those tomatoes are beautiful. They remind me of when I was a little girl. We always grew our own tomatoes. <laughs> I'd love to grow them here, but it's hard to have a garden in the city. <gasps> I've got an idea. Come on. Mama loves fresh vegetables so much, I'm going to make her a vegetable garden. You are? How? Granny Matilde says she just puts the seeds in the soil, waters them, and lets the sun shine on them. That sounds easy. Where do we get the seeds? Look here. These are full of seeds. Yeah. See? Oh, yes. But where should we put them? I've got the perfect thing. Um, mm -hmm. nope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Here it is. Now we just have to find a place to plant them. I know the park. Yes, ma. Careful. Sorry, Miss Huge. Slow down, children. Sorry about that, Miss Huge. Careful. Are you okay? <sighs> there! How about planting them here? It's nice and sunny. Oh! Uh, <laughs> mm, no. It needs to be a place where they won't get squashed. What about over there? This does look good. Nobody would step on them here. Ugh. Here. That's all the breadcrumbs I have today, my darlings. Bonjour, Bonjour Madame, Madame Leo. Leo. Bonjour. They probably think you have breadcrumbs in the bag. But I don't. See? Just tomato seeds. <gasps> Get off! Stop that! Run! They must like tomato seeds, too. Good night, dear. Sleep tight. <sighs> night, Mama. <sighs> Mama was right. There isn't a good place to grow tomatoes in Paris. enough. Hmm. Yes. Great. You put the seeds in while I get the water. One seed. Two seeds. Gaspar. Tomatoes need a lot of water, Lisa. That's what makes them juicy. Lisa, your papa's here. Ooh. Uh. It's too dark under there. The tomatoes won't grow. I'm just hiding them. I'll push my bed back every morning so they get the sunlight. 
Easy. Gaspar, Lisa. Oh, Coming. Coming, Mama. Seeds, lots of sunlight and lots of water. Hurry up, Gaspar. You'll be late for school. watering them. Hmm? Hey! Oh, uh. <clears throat> ah, good afternoon, Monsieur Huge. Monsieur Huge, you're, uh, wet. Ah, you noticed. And, uh, do you know why I'm wet? Uh, no. Then by all means, follow me. <clears throat> Your mama is going to be so surprised. I know. Gaspar, what are you doing? He's watering my ceiling. That's what he's doing. Watering your ceiling? See? The water leaked through your floor and came out through Monsieur Houget's ceiling. Sorry, Monsieur Houget. I was just trying to surprise Mama with fresh tomatoes. Ah! Uh oh. Catastrophe! <sighs> Maybe Granny Matilde can send you some tomatoes from the country. Yes, but it wouldn't be the same. Then we'll just find somewhere else to plant the garden. But there isn't anywhere. We tried. We'll find somewhere. Gaspar needs a garden, but he doesn't know where. I'll help him find a place and then we'll... Ah. Oh, sorry, children. <gasps> Gaspar! I have a great idea. We could get a window box, just like that one. Maybe your papa could build us one. We could plant the tomatoes in the window box. And grow them right here. Yes! yes. Try them! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. You were right. We just needed to keep trying. That's what best friends do. They keep on trying. <laughs> Bar gets his garden in the city. And soon, these little shoots will be great big tomatoes. Gaspar's mama can't wait. And I'm taking care of the garden because Gaspar is busy helping his papa fix Monsieur Huget's ceiling. Whee! Oh, 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 oh. Gaspar and Lisa. The best of friends. Gaspar and Lisa. The best of friends. Kite 
springtime is the best time to fly a kite. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at that. And my brother Charles has made a really great one. Look at it go. I just wish he'd let me fly it. Charles. Yep, keep it up. Time for computer club. Come on, Gaspar. Okay, Papa. told you, Gaspar. Don't touch my kite. You'll ruin it. Oh. Hello. Bonjour, Gaspar. Bonjour, Lisa. What's wrong? Charles. He's flying his new kite in the kite festival tomorrow, and he won't even let me touch it. That's awful. Hmm. Luckily, I have a great idea. Mama, may I go to Gaspar's? Of course, dear. Bonjour, Gaspar. Bonjour. Au revoir. <laughs> this is a good idea, Gaspar. Making your own kite. It was my idea. But it was my idea to use newspaper. Well, they're both good ideas. Thanks, Papa. Just put glue around the edges and fold the paper over. Voila, a kite. Have fun. Do you like it? Um, it's okay. We're not finished yet. What color do you want to paint it? Um, how about red and yellow, like flames? Hmm. Or light blue with little butterflies. But I don't like butterflies. You do. Well, how about dark blue with a streak of yellow lightning? Yes! Hmm. Except we don't have dark blue. Oh, here's purple. Perfect. <laughs> <gasps> going to do? <sighs> Come on, we have to clean it. Uh, 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 it won't fit. I know, it'll fit in the bathtub. Hmm. Uh, oh. It's not coming off. We need to scrub it with something. I know. This. Don't be silly, Lisa. Hmm. Now what are we going to do? <sighs> Luckily, I have another great idea. What do you think? Um, I think Charles is going to hate it. But he loves red. Yes, but he hates flowers. Well, I think it looks better than it did before. Anyway, it's too late now. Hmm, how long will it take to dry? I don't know, but it'll dry faster if we put it out in the sun. Okay. dry in no time. <gasps> Uh-oh! Catastrophe! Where did it go? There! Come on! We've got to go after it. Ah! How's your kite coming along? Uh, all finished. Can you take us for a walk? Or for a hot chocolate? Or for something outside. Oh, why not? Hot chocolate sounds delicious. Come on, let's go. Okay, what's the rush? Can you see it? No, where could it be? Something wrong with your hot chocolate? Uh, no. 
Finished already? Okay, go on. But stay where I can see you. Ah. Uh, mm. There we are. <gasps> That's Monsieur Hooge's balcony. How do we get the kite back? Monsieur Hooge! Monsieur Hooge! Can we have our kite back, please? Huh? Oh. Mm. How did it get up here in the first place? The wind blew it! It is windy today. Too windy. Thank you, Monsieur Hooge! Hey! I got it! Uh, I thought I got it. Uh. Uh. Paint? Uh. Uh, don't go far. Oh. oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yes. The apples are great this time of year. Oh, careful. Give up. <sighs> you can't give up, Gaspar. I know what will help. I'll sing you a song. Your kite is in a tree, but we'll get it down, you'll see. Dee dum dee dee. Not helping. Charles will never forgive me. He might. Hmm. What if I sang him a song? Your kite's got flowers, but you don't know it. <gasps> Look! The kite string! Great! I'm sure we can reach it. Uh. 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 Got it! Uh. 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 You did it! Yes! yes. <gasps> Is that my kite? Ugh, I told you not to touch it. Your kite got lost, but we found it. You painted flowers on my kite? Surprise? Ugh. <sighs> Charles was sort of mad. But he flew his flowery kite in the festival anyway. He didn't win for flying his kite the highest, but he did win for having the best decorated kite. I still hate flowers. <laughs> oh, and I finally decorated my own kite too. I painted a picture of my best friend Lisa. Love it. Thank you, Gaspar. That's what best friends do. Help each other fly. <laughs> Gaspar and Lisa. The best of friends. Lisa's little sister. Are you 
you ready? Ready. Oh, hello, Bonjour. Mama wants me to clean my closet, so my best friend Gaspar has come over to help. We'll open the door on the count of three. Ready? One. It's been a while since I've cleaned it. Two. So I'm not quite sure what's inside. Three. Oh, oh. <laughs> That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And look, it's my ukulele. I forgot you borrowed this. Oh, um, there's all sorts of stuff I've forgotten about. Goodness, <laughs> what's going on? Hello, Mama. Gaspar and I are cleaning up my closet, just like you asked. Leela, do you know what this is? It's a dinosaur costume. Dinosaurs go, roar. <laughs> that was good. You're a fast learner, Leela. <laughs> <laughs> Mama made me this costume. Remember, Mama? Of course I do. And I remember exactly when I made it, too. I remember, too. I, uh, think. It was a long time ago. Almost two whole years. It was right when you were born, Leela. <laughs> Do you want me to tell you the story? <laughs> I remember it really well. Please, Mama. Could you please finish making my dinosaur costume? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. Later, I promise. Whew. Carrying this baby around in my tummy makes me feel very tired. Hmm. I just really wanted to show it to Gaspar today. Oh! The baby just kicked. Do you want to feel her? No, thank you. How do you know the baby's a girl if she's still inside you? Because the doctor told me. He said she's going to be a beautiful girl, just like her big sister. New little baby, new little girl Someone to welcome into our world And she'll be mine, and she'll be yours New little baby, new little girl My baby, but mama You'll make her laugh and teach her to play And she'll adore you in every way when she wants to spin, who'll give her a whirl? New little baby, new little girl. Well, I could play with her sometimes. As she grows older, you will see. When there are songs she wants to sing, she'll turn to you. Mama. New little baby, sweet little baby, our little girl. So, will you make my dinosaur costume for me now? Lisa, I... There's Gaspar! Bonjour, Lisa. Ready for school? School? I almost forgot. Come on, we've got to go, or we'll be late. Ah, Gaspar and Lisa, just in time. Bonjour. So sorry they're late, Mademoiselle Baladi. Oh, don't worry. How are you feeling? Oh, tired, but not too bad. The baby will be here any day now. Lisa, where's your lunch? <gasps> oh, dear. I forgot your lunch again. I'm sorry, Lisa. I'll bring it later, in time for lunch. It's all right. Lisa can share mine. That's so nice of you, Gaspar. Be a good girl, Lisa. Mwah. Au revoir, Mademoiselle Baladi. Au revoir, Mama. So, if you mix the yellow and the blue together, You'll get green. Try it yourselves. I just want the baby to get here, so Mama will pay attention to me, like she used to. 
Then she'll be able to make my dinosaur costume and pack my lunch and tell me stories at bedtime again. She's so tired from having the baby in her tummy, she goes to sleep before I do. Well, I could call you on the phone and tell you stories, but I'm not very good at making costumes. Thanks anyway, Gaspar. You're a good friend. <laughs> I think maybe you used a little too much blue. <sighs> Au revoir. Bye. Wait with you two until your mamas get here. I'm supposed to go home with Lisa and her mama. If she ever gets here, I hope she hasn't forgotten me. Yoo hoo! Grandma, why are you here? I'm here to take you home. I'm going to be looking after you and Victoria. But where's mama? Your mama's at the hospital with your papa. And the new baby. The baby's arrived. That's wonderful. Congratulations. That means everything will be back to normal. Mama can tell me stories again and pack my lunches and make my dinosaur costume. Well, I don't think she'll be making any costumes for a while. She'll be too busy with a new baby. Oh, it's all so exciting. Come along, Lisa. What about me? Can Gaspar still come home with us? Of course. Great. Goodbye, Mademoiselle Baladi. See you soon. Say hello to the new baby for me. <laughs> They'll all be back from the hospital by dinner time, so I'm making a nice roast duck. A good welcome home dinner for the baby. Babies eat duck? <laughs> no, but I want to do something nice for your mama and papa to celebrate. I want to do something special, too. I know. I can make sure the nursery is just perfect. I'll make sure everything is nice and comfy. And that there are plenty of diapers. Diapers! <laughs> you used to wear them, too, Gaspar. And not that long ago. No, I was never this small, was I? Where did this rocking chair come from? Papa made it, because Mama's going to be spending a lot of time in here. I suppose you won't be the baby of the family anymore, will you? Hmm, wait until Mama sees how perfect I've made everything. have something to show her, too. Really? Like what? Luckily, I have a great idea. We could make my dinosaur costume. We can? Yes. Then I can show Mama, and she'll have to pay attention to me. Come on. Oh. Mm, oh, hold still. Stop moving. Careful. Uh, uh, there. Doesn't look very much like a dinosaur, does it? No. It looks like a lot of green stuff stuck to your head. I know. I've got an old hat. We can stick the material to that. Perfect. And we can put a horn on the front. And make a tail with real spikes. When Mama sees that we've done this all by ourselves, she'll be really proud. I can't wait to show it to her. Uh, uh, you're standing on your tail. Uh, Lift your foot. Which foot? Oh, no, this way. Where do you want? The other one. Oh, 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 it, uh. <laughs> Help me up. Yeah. Who's this? Aw, that's Bertram. Mama says I got him the day I was born. Maybe you could give one of your toys to the baby. You know, a special gift to put in her bedroom. <laughs> These are mine. The baby can have her own toys. They're here, Mama and the baby. Let's go, Gaspar. But we haven't finished your costume. 
Lisa, come and meet your new sister. Aw, isn't she lovely? I've made the nursery just right for you, baby sister. Mama, look, my dinosaur costume. <laughs> yes, sweetheart, but first say hello to your new sister. Say hello, Leela. Leela? But that sounds almost like my name. She needs a different name, Mama. You need your rest, dear. So does the baby. Wait until you see the nursery, Mama. But, Mama... Later, Lisa. Mama needs some time to rest, all right? No! <gasps> it's not all right! And it's never going to be all right. Not as long as she's here. Lisa, you shouldn't say that. Should she? I'll talk to her. You go and rest. Hmm. Lisa, why don't you come and sit down with me for a minute? No. Will you sit with me? Please? <sighs> all right. You didn't say please. Lisa, having a new baby will be wonderful, you'll see. It might take a little while to get used to, just like it took Victoria a while to get used to you when we brought you home. I'm still not used to her. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not going to get used to that baby either. The baby has a name, Lisa. It's Leela. I don't care what her name is. I'm not going to talk to her anyway. That's what Victoria said the day we brought you home. But for your mama and me, it was one of the greatest days of our lives. Really? When you were born, oh, what a day How we adored you in every way We couldn't believe we'd ever receive Such a precious new baby New little girl Yeah, but you don't feel like that now And Lisa, even though you've grown We'll always love you, that's a fact And you'll love Lisa Gaspar. Uh, sorry. And she'll love you, Lisa, because you're her sister. A sweet older sister to our little girl. But I don't want to be her sister. With her here, Mama will never have time for me again. Of course she will. We'll all have time for you. We just... Uh, we just... I better check and see if your mama needs help. I'll help too, Papa. Don't worry. You can show the costume to your mama after the baby stops crying. Or maybe after your mama feeds her. Or after she gives the baby a bath. Or after... Mama's never gonna have time for me again, Gaspar. Never, ever, never, never. <sighs> oh, luckily I have a great idea. I can come and live with you, Gaspar. Of course, you can use my bottom drawer. There's nothing in it. You're a great friend, Gaspar. I know. I'll start packing. You mean now? Yes. Is that all right? Uh, well, I... I guess. But don't you think you should tell your mama and papa first? They're too busy with the baby. Anyway, they wouldn't care. I don't think I have room for my books, do I? But I could bring a few of my toys. And I'll need my pens. And this. Um... The drawer is really not that big. Here you are. What are you doing? 
Um, nothing. Grandma sent me to tell you that the baby's asleep and that Mama and Papa are resting in their room. So you two need to be quiet. But we're not doing anything. Just in case. Uh, hmm. Hey, my bear Bertram. <gasps> He's gone. So is Monkey. Where are they? Oh, I meant to tell you. I took some of your toys into the nursery for the baby. But those are my toys. Shh. It's only until Leela has toys of her own. Unless you want me to tell Mama, you won't share your toys with the new baby. No, but... All right, then. And remember, be quiet. Mm. Mm. Lisa, mm. are you all right? No! Ugh. I'm very angry. First, Mama never has time for me ever. And now the baby has my favorite bear. Let's go. I'm going to get my toys back. The nursery? But your grandma said not to. You'll wake up the baby. I don't care. We're going to be in so much trouble. Shh. Quiet. Wow. Look at her. She's so tiny. Well, of course. She's a baby. She is a little bit sweet, though, isn't she? She looks like you, especially her nose. Do you think so? Hello, little baby. I'm your big sister's best friend. Gaspar. Can you say Gaspar? She can't talk yet, silly. But don't worry, Leela. I'll teach you how. You can teach her lots of things. Like how to draw, and how to make that funny noise with your mouth, and how to ride a bike. But I don't know how to ride a bike. Well, I'll teach you, and then you can teach her. She has a name, Gaspar. It's Leela. Pretty little Leela. <sighs> I think she heard you. She did, didn't she? I think she smiled at me, too. Maybe you can keep Bertrand, Leela. Just for tonight. And tomorrow night, too, if you want. Makes me feel better. Uh, sing what? A lullaby? Sleep, little baby. Sleep, little girl. I'm watching over your little world. So now you can dream what new. trying to get her to go back to sleep. And you did. Leela likes you, I can tell. Do you really think so? Come out here where we can talk. This is the first chance I've had to look at your costume. It looks wonderful. 
Gaspar helped. But the tail's not finished. It needs some spikes. I tell you what. Why don't I help finish it while Leela's sleeping? You'd do that for me? Why wouldn't I? Well, I thought, since Leela's here, you didn't want to pay attention to me anymore. Oh, Lisa. You know what happens when a family gets bigger? All of our hearts get a little bigger, too. So there's plenty of room for everybody. And I promise I will never stop paying attention to you. Never, ever, never? Never, ever, never, never, ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lisa, guess what? Leela snores. Did I miss something? Triumph again. <laughs> oh. I'm glad I kept this costume. Now you're big enough to wear it, Leela. Mm -mm. mm. <laughs> my little sister, who sounds just like a dinosaur. Doesn't she? I taught her how to do that. Yes, <laughs> 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 The best of friends, the best of friends.